time now. Cub Scout meeting ain't till tomorrow. You got all morning to work on your doodle board. You haven't seen it since I painted the eyes in the wolf's head. Oh, it's a doozy. Come on now, time to get to bed. How do you like the way I wrote her names? See where I wrote my name? No, I don't. Look, D-L-O-R-A-H. D-L-O-R? That's Harold spelled backwards. That's the way us cubs write in our secret code. No kidding. <coughs> well, now, just a minute. Now, don't you look now. Now, see if you can read that. Scram to... to the next pack meeting and see for yourself. It's really fun, Anne. I wouldn't have missed being a den mother for anything. Are we under oath? <laughs> well, I'll admit, when Hazel first trapped me into it, I was a little upset. But after working with those boys and watching them learn and grow, it's been an exciting and a rewarding experience. Neither of us is arguing against Cub Scouting, George. I'm sure it's a fine organization. Why, I always buy tickets to their jamborees. But it's just that Anne and I don't have the time to give to it. It isn't just a question of time, Bruce. It is for me. When I get through drilling by cuspids all day, I want to relax. Bruce, if I thought William would benefit by joining the Cub Scouts, I'd find the time, and so would you. Oh. But William is so advanced mentally, he doesn't have much in common with youngsters his own age. What was his IQ? Oh, I don't remember. It was 142. Well, I'm sure he's a smart boy, Ann, but isn't that all the more reasonable? Smart? He's brilliant. <laughs> what did the teacher's notes say? Oh, um, something about if he were properly disciplined. <laughs> isn't the part I mean? <laughs> she said he had the most remarkable mind she had met in 12 years of teaching. Oh, he's practically a genius. Cubby's perkin, be ready in a minute. Well, Ann, I'll admit Harold isn't a genius, but... Oh, Harold's a darling. He's a doozy. You don't know how lucky you are to be raising such a sweet, normal, average, uncomplicated child. <laughs> Honestly, I envy you. We're raising who knows what. I got a couple of suggestions. Hazel, <laughs> a great scientist, a mathematician, a writer, a philosopher. You know what I think? All right, Hazel, that's enough. Shall we play bridge? Let's. Do send us the pamphlets you promised, though, George. We'll look them over. You're talking about the Cub Scouts, Dr. Kingsley? That's right, Hazel. Be a terrific thing for William, a boy that don't know a square knot from a granny. We're not raising him to be a sailor, Hazel. Well, a boy that wouldn't be able to find North if he got lost in the woods? I assure you, I would never expose him to that danger. A boy that don't know how to do things with his hands? Oh, that's really funny. You've seen his drawings, Dorothy. You know? William's real feel may be art. Well, let's say a boy... All <laughs> right, Hazel, that's enough. Now, shall we play bridge? Who's bid? Mine. Um, let's see. One club. Pass. Boy, who dealt this mess? I did. <laughs> Two spades. Pass. Wait a minute, did you count your honors? Yes, I did. I didn't get a chance All to... right, Hazel, look. Three spades. Pass. Four clubs. Pass. Four spades. Pass. Four no trump. Pass. Five diamonds. Pass. Six clubs. Pass. Six spades. Pass. Pass. We double. We do not. We do too. And that boy of yours don't even know how to toast marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> Mother. 
Panther? Sounds fine to me. Uh, what do you think, Sid? Great. Okay, Cubs, let's try a couple of bars. One, two, three. Darling, Mother's going to a nasty old business conference. You wouldn't want to sit in the car all afternoon, would you? Of course you wouldn't. That wouldn't be any fun for either one of us, would it? Oh, got him just in time. You want to talk to Missy? If you don't mind. Go right ahead. She's out back. <laughs> what is that racket out there? That's the orchestra. You're going to get some of these cookies after the meeting. Got to get them off the pan before they stick. Will you please inform Mrs. Baxter that I'm here? Oh, sure. Oh! 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 <laughs> William, my nerves. Oh, you better get used to that, Mrs. Kingley, if Billy's gonna join the Cubs. You'll be hearing a lot of that. That's the wolf owl. His name is William, and he's not joining the Cubs. And William. Oh, I'm so glad you could come. The meeting's already started, but you can still get some idea of what goes on. Darling, I forgot all about the meeting or I wouldn't have bothered you. Why can't William join the Cubs? Because he isn't interested. I know this is no time to ask a favor of you, but I was hoping you'd be able to keep an eye on William for me this afternoon. You don't know what you're missing. He's going to stay off and I have to run into town. Of course, we'd be delighted. And when he sees what a good time we have, maybe he'll decide he wants to join the Cubs after all. Oh, I don't think so. But if you're sure, it'll be no extra bother. Oh, kids are no bother around this house. Come on, William. Let's howl a little. <laughs> He's a real boy scout. Hello, William. Now let's give him a big welcome, huh? Okay, Cubs, how? <laughs> now, who's got an extra instrument they'll let William use until he's got time to make himself one? Well, here, William, use these. You call that a drum? It's a tom tom. Why doesn't your mother buy you a real one? It is a real one, just like the Indians used to make. What's that? It's a Zanuck from I Made It. Do you want to play it? <laughs> Who want to play a silly thing like that? It is not silly. Well, I want to play ball. Let's play ball, huh? Who wants to play ball? The games aren't till later. We're practicing our stunt for our next pack well, meeting. Let's play tap! Tap! Come on, it it! Don't you, William Kingsley? Yeah, who asked you to come here anyway? Yeah, go on home! Now, calm down. There's no harm done. All we need is a little water to put in the bottles, and it's okay. Now, you two go get the hose, and you better stand back if you don't want to get wet. Oh. Well, maybe it's just as well William doesn't want to join. No, you're wrong, Missy. That kid really needs the Cub Scouts. Well, Anne's dead set against it, sir. So. Well, what about Dr. Kingsley? He seems like a nice fellow. Maybe Mr. B should talk to him some more. George has said all he can say. Dr. Kingsley just isn't interested. Well, maybe he just ain't had it explained to him right. <laughs> Miss Burke? Sorry to keep you waiting. Doctor will be with you right away. Take a 
take that magazine now, if you don't mind. Yes, I do mind. But it's customary. You see the doctor... No, I've been stuck before. You sit out there for an hour, and suddenly you get interested in the story, and they take the magazine away from you. And then they bring you in and put you in the chair, and you sit there for another hour with nothing to do. No, so, I'll hold on to this till the doctor gets here. Keep you waiting, Hazel, but I had a patient in the other chair. Oh, that's all right, Doc. I know you're a busy man. Uh, head back, please. How's that? Fine. I know it isn't fair to disturb you at the office without an excuse, so... I'm always available in cases of emergency, Hazel. I thought uh, that you could clean my teeth while I talk to you about... Head back a little bit further, please. Open wide. Uh, that's a good girl. Uh-huh. While I talk to you about... Uh, ah! oh. uh. A little sensitive back there, eh? No, not a bit. <laughs> uh, nurse, uh, talk to me about what, Hazel? A lot of cold stuff. Oh. Oh, we had a little sore spot there, eh? Uh, about the Cub Scouts, no. No, it ain't sore. No, it feels fine. That's good. Uh, head back, open wide now. Once more. There we go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh just as I thought. It's a good thing you came in when you did, Hazel, before you had some real trouble with that molar. What are you going to do? No overcame. <clears throat> We're going to fix that little cavity back there before it gets any larger. No, no, I don't want my tooth fell. Now, this isn't going to hurt at all. No, I, I don't want my tooth. I just came in to talk to you about the close stuff. Mrs. Kingsley and I thought it over, and we feel that it isn't a good idea for William to join at this time. There you are. Goodbye, Hazel. Uh, give my regards to the Baxter. But, Doc... Just a minute. Uh, Mr. Stewart, the doctor will see you right now. The door on your but right... But I didn't get a chance to tell him... Would you like to make another appointment, Miss Burke? We have about... Uh, no, over... never mind. Just a moment, please. That'll be $15. Hazel, <laughs> 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 I can't see it. Hey, right back there. <laughs> You'd think for $15 they could have put in gold. Hello, darling. <laughs> have a good day. That's all. Hello, son. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Guess what? Hazel got a tooth filled today. I know. Dr. Kingsley phoned me. Serves you right for not minding your own business. Oh, if that tooth needed attention, it's a good thing she went. Well, what did he have to tell you for? I thought doctors were supposed to keep things confidential. Well, he got to thinking it over after you left, and he realized that other people were spending more time in trouble with William than he was. And they're coming to our next pack meeting. Oh, that's great. And you mean William's going to be in our den? Isn't that nice? No, the kids don't want him. Why not, son? He's nothing but a big show-off. He always wants to do what he wants to do. Oh, a Cub Scout gives goodwill. He's friendly to everyone. That's why we don't want him. He isn't friendly. Harold, what your father means is that you cubs must be friendly to William. He'll ruin the whole thing. If he can't be the best, he won't play. He's nothing but a big show-off. Now, Harold, Son, listen here. Son, you're missing the whole point. Okay, Harold. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that sure was lousy. Let's see you do one any better. I don't want to. Because you can't, that's why. I can't, too. I just don't to. Now, there's other ways to get in your athletic achievement. Come on. Uh, how about walking the board, David? That was fine, David. But next. Hey, it's my turn! Hey, no, it is, too! Everybody will get a turn. You have to start over, William, and wait your turn, okay? Isn't it time for us to start practicing our music? We gotta climb the tree! Yes! Just gotta see the path, climb the tree right! There we go! I'm 
sorry, Sid. I didn't realize he'd be such a problem. Oh, that's okay, Mrs. Baxter. When I said I'd be den chief, they warned me there'd be days like this. <laughs> hey, Krabs, now the first thing you've got to remember about tree climbing is what? Test the branches before you put your weight on them. Right. Hey, that's far enough. Come on down. William, come on down now. Yeah, come on down. set up the instruments for the band while you wait your turns, okay? We want to we want Go on now. She's your Aquila, isn't she? Do what she tells you to. Hey, everybody, look where I am. I climbed clear to the top. Watch me. Hey, look at me. Maybe he'll come down if we stop watching him. Oh, I hope so. His mother's going to be here soon to get him. There's a good strong limb right under your feet. Oh, I can't. I'm scared. Hazel! Come in, Missy! What's the matter? William. Oh, my gosh. Harold. Harold, do you think you could climb up on that branch? You see, the branches aren't strong enough for All us. All the way up there? Harold's a natural. Oh, he could climb a tree twice as high as this if it meant he was going to help out another Cub Scout. Wouldn't you, Harold? I guess so. Cub scouting will be the making of the boy, Anne. You just wait and see. You sure climbed high. Yeah. Higher than anybody, I'll bet. Yeah. Let's go down now, huh? I can't. Oh, sure you can. I can't. Just hang on with your elbows. Your feet can reach it. No, they won't. Come on, William. Your feet can reach it. William? I don't see William. William? Where's William? He, he's up in the tree. Oh! Come on, William. Your feet can reach it. William, don't fall. Brother, that's good advice. Here, I'll show you. I'll call him. Hang on, darling. Don't fall. Oh, Annie, shut up. <laughs> William, I'm stuck. William, I'm stuck. Hang on, Harold. I'm coming. You better not help me, Bill. Uh, I think the limb is going to crack. Hang on, Harold. I am. Wh what are you doing, William? I'm helping you. Sure, good thing you were here. Let's go down now, huh? Yeah. You first, Cub. OK, Cub. Come on, Bill, you're doing fine. One leg at a time now. 
Atta boy. All right. Good work. Gee, Mama, what were you so worried about? I wasn't gonna fall. Well, it's natural that a mom's worried the first time a kid does something. But Dad's is different. They used to be boys themselves. But heck, if moms and dads were the same thing, what would be the use of having both of them? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, William. I won't be worried next time. That's okay, Mom. And no more showing off. Right. All right, fellas, let's join in the living circle and give the den yell. Then we'll all have cookies and punch. Cookies, cookies, cookies and punch. Cookies and punch. Who are we? Den number three. Yay! There's the fire department. I better get more punch. has been a Screen Gems film production from the Hollywood studios of Columbia Pictures.